uh, I don't mean to be in your face or anything, but I want to show you guys how I made the chore chart that saved me. Not the chore chart. I don't know why I keep saying chart. That's not what we're talking about. We can talk about it some other time, but a chart. I'll write it on there. I don't, I feel like I'm saying it wrong. But anyways, I, I combined this with other stuff that helped me get out of ed. And if you don't have an ed and you're just answering my calls because you're my friend, chances are you have like a bad habit. I'm not trying to call you out, but none of us are perfect. And if you don't have a bad habit, there's a chance you might want to have a good, a better habit or you want to get into something and this would work in your favor. So basically, everybody has their own uh, amount that of days, of times you need to get into something in order to have it be automatic. For me, it used to be 30 days. I remember hearing it somewhere where it's like, if you do something for 30 days, you get into the habit of doing it. And it worked for me. Now people change it all the time. Like, oh, it has to be three months or it has to be 20 days, you know, but you have to find your own amount. Everybody's different. So it's going to be different for everybody. So for me, it was 30. So we're going to do 30 and you can add more if you want. But this is not. So again, it's not going to be really pretty. The chart I'm going to make. It's going to be simple. I tend to go more simple. If you want to make it pretty, go ahead and let me know. Like, send me a picture <laughs> on my Instagram because I want to see. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to copy you, okay? And I'm going to steal your identity too. But mine are very simple. And I, I do know that bullet journal people do stuff like this. And they get all into it. This is not what this is. It's just a tracker for habit. Especially, like, if you have a habit of something deadly, this is a way I found to get out of it. I did not want to purge anymore. So, I knew that if I stopped purging, it would stop everything else. And I just, the side effects of purging, I feel, are the worst. And I feel if I didn't have that, I wouldn't do everything else, which was true. And you know yourself really well, you know what I mean? So, you know what works for you. But if you haven't tried something, you should you never know so here i have my planner here so the thing is it's like charts you don't really have to make them in nowadays because they're like everywhere here's an example like i have one on here i just can't find it here find it <sighs> to because i like planners i just i don't do the, like the crazy shit I, i'm a list person so i make lists of things i have to do but i noticed my planner had this shit that those stuff you write like a habit you want to change right here like for me wipe my ass properly no i'm just kidding or like for example one thing i struggle with is brushing my teeth for exactly two minutes i always want to stop like at, at a minute or to go to sleep i'm okay with that but like to go into work i'm just like i'm just gonna drink something what's the point so i i just brush it quick so i i have one that said uh, i wrote 30 uh 30 days I wrote uh, brushing my teeth for two minutes, at least two times a day, because I, I only do it for sleep a lot because I'm always in a rush and it's so annoying because then I'm like, oh, my teeth are going to freaking fall out or whatever. And this one has 30, 31 days to tracking your like as a habit tracker, but I do 30. Everybody's different. There are some people that have that only need like 20. Nowadays, if it's something like pretty simple, like brushing my teeth, if I if I stop brushing my teeth like I should, as long as I should, I only have to be strict about it for a week. And then I get back into the habit. But if you want to make it even more permanent, stick to it as long as you can and just keep going. So no, I know not everybody has like a track like a planner with a tracking thingy. So we're gonna make one um together. And you're gonna have to, you know, you you have to make one with me. So go find a paper and find a pencil or a pen. I have a pen here. I have a pencil with no freaking eraser, and I couldn't find one with one, so I just grabbed my eraser to make things a little annoying. And then I know not everybody. I have stencils because I love. I love. I can't. I can't draw a straight line no matter what. It's really annoying. I just can't do it. So I, I buy stencils, all kinds. This is to make lists. I like the square one. But um, I know not everybody has like fancy stencils or whatever. So 
And you know when you watch a video and someone's like, I'm gonna teach you how to do something. And then they say it's super easy and they pull out all this stuff, all the nice shit. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? We're not gonna do that. I'm gonna teach you how to make a ghetto quick uh, chart that could probably save you too, hopefully. So all you need is a tag from clothes or something. Hopefully you have that. If not, literally just cardboard. Like a piece of cardboard, have a straight edge. And it's all you need. Or a ruler, better. I don't even have a ruler. I can't find it. So this is a, what is it? A tag that my, of something my mom got me and I don't wear because it was like a dress or something. And I kept the tag because I liked it more. Because <laughs> I'm like, ooh, I could use this for something. It looks so nice. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys how to make it. I'm going to turn it around. Okay, now you're on my crusty desk. I hope you like it. It's crunchy. And now we have my planner here. And I'm going to use these because I can't, like, if you're bold, you can use, like, an empty thingy, whatever that's called. Like, no lines. But I can't draw straight. So I'm just going to count. Ugh, the, the suck, the, this is going to suck because it's, like, you have to make the other parts going to look stupid. So I, I like to use pencil first because, again, I'm not really good at doing things right. Even then, it's going to be crooked watch. Okay, so I count one, two, three, four, five, six. It's gonna look ugly. That's okay. And then we just do that way. Maybe we can do like like that. And then we'll do like in the middle a line. And then maybe we can add an extra one, but it's going to be kind of big. Come on. And maybe we could... See, I used a black freaking thing. But if you don't, you can just like line it. Oh, you can still see it. Okay. So it somewhat looks okay. That one looks okay. And then we're going to add one more over here. This. That looks ugly. But whatever. And then you erase all the stupid shit. And then you can make these lines stand out and now you have a tracking thingy a tracking chart for Ed now some was Ed so right his stupid ass name right there and then, maybe I can, like, focus. Sorry, I should have done that before, but maybe I'll do it. And then, let's say today I don't do it. And then I want to, you can either color it or you put an X. I like check marks. And then, let's say, I keep, I, the next day I do good. And the thing is, is, like, this feeling of, like, check marking, it makes you feel good. It, like, it's satisfying. Like, you want the whole thing to be checkmarked, you know? You want it to be complete. But let's say I don't do it this day, and I broke my record for not not dealing with Ed. You don't start all over. Those days still count. And ignore my ugly ass finger. It looks like a toe, but those days still count. So you will just pick up where you left off. Be like, okay, maybe it was a break. Like, I didn't, I couldn't do this one. Don't fill it in. My next one, it's like, okay, let me do it. Do it, do it, let me do it, let me do it, let me do it. Uh-oh, I didn't do it here. But the next day I did, and the next day. These days still count. You did, you didn't do like a whole one, but you kept doing it. Because I remember when I first started, I was like, I can't believe I went one day without it. You know, without purging. Like, that was a win. So please do not compare to like somebody that does all of them in one go. Like it's not realistic. You will get faster. 
I, when I was doing like um, new habits, even if it wasn't ed related, I was bad at it. Like I, I, I had breaks, but you don't want to check mark it because you didn't do it straight across because your next challenge, once you can get like, let's say you have a bunch of like breaks in it and there's two days, there's a whole freaking week. You still did a lot of days. So you can't just remove all the credit from from yourself. You know what I mean? You have to take that still a win. Now your next challenge is you have to do more than this. And yeah, you might have like, let's say this is a different, this chart is complete and you make another one. And this chart, you went straight across, straight across, but then you had a break. You're still doing better in the improvement. You're seeing the improvement. All the charts you make, you're, you keep improving. So that's a win. You guys... The chart is made to show your progress, not anybody else's. So that's the point of it. And that's why it helped me a lot because I stopped purging completely thanks to this. I, I did combine other stuff, but it's it, it helped a lot. So I hope it helps you. And if you don't have an ed or you don't know, even know what I'm talking about, there's always a habit you have that. Like even just a simple habit, like I used to bite my nails a lot. stop you don't want to start um you could just do that for that you know or let's say you want to be one of those people that has a, a skin routine you could write like a skin routine on there you can do whatever you want you can make it and you can make it pretty too you can make it colorful you can make every day different you can have fun you can make it fun the more pretty it is or the more effort you put into making it the more fun it's going to be to check mark it but even if it's this simple this worked with me it's super easy but yeah That's all it takes to make a, uh, a chart a track chart <laughs> a chart how do you say it without saying chart <laughs> am i saying it right i don't even know people are gonna be like why should you keep talking about shit um but yeah that's how you make one and you could even cut it out like cut it out of here or from a paper and just glue it onto something like i could put it on this and carry this around and just have it in my pocket and look at it like ooh, you know i get to check mark it anything like that and it could be the simplest thing like you don't have to like obviously not everybody has the same thing going on the same issue but whatever issue especially because a lot of the problems we have with ourselves or our habits or what we wish we would be more into we don't want other people in our business or you know like involved with it because it's awkward especially if you don't do it this isn't made for somebody to criticize you for yourself to criticize you remember even if you miss a day or a week, as long as you keep improving. And it's important, I would suggest, like, you make the chart, like, start off, like, let's say a blank paper. Start off at the corner, like, just make a chart and keep getting better because you're going to see, like, e extreme difference. I, when I made my chart, I did too. But the second one, I didn't even need it anymore because I didn't need that check mark. I was already automatically not purging. I was automatically making my bed. I was automatically brushing my teeth for two minutes, you know. And when the habit falls off, like my two minute brushing my teeth two times a day, like it's annoying. So it's like, especially like putting my Invisalign in, you know, for to sleep in. Like I'll brush my teeth to sleep. That's the one I'm like, I'll do that one because I'm afraid my teeth will fall out. But to put, to go the extra th mile and like put on my Invisalign to go to sleep on my weekends for work days, I'm perfectly like, I'm pretty strict, but I don't know what it is, but like with weekends, I'm like, no, I want to have fun. Like, what if I get up and I eat something? So just stuff like that, that are like going to keep falling off, like that aren't going to be set permanently. You have to keep making one. Like I, I do have one on my planner, so I don't have to make like, you could always buy stuff like that too. Like... I'm pretty sure they they get all fancy, but you don't have to have all the fancy shit, you know? You just have to have a piece of paper and draw one for you. And you don't even have to have, like, one of these things, like, to make it straight. I just, I can't write straight. You can just make it, like, freehanded, you know? But, oh my gosh, there's a stain on here. I keep forgetting to show you guys. And I got this planner from Walmart, by the way, so... If Walmart has planners with, like, track tracking stuff, imagine what Target has. They're probably more, like, fancy and shit. Ooh, should we go to Target? Should I have a vlog, a Target vlog, and we can look at the school supplies for the next video? Let me know.
let me know guys okay it's right here so it has these but i i freaking struggle to find them every time and i think i already showed you guys but if this this walmart planner has this now imagine what like other ones do and this is pretty oh you guys want to copy it do it like that no i'm just kidding that's too much work for me to draw but like since it's there and i i, I wrote like where my invisalign to bed for one of these i just can't freaking find it i found this one this one's the december one and i only needed to do it up to like six days and i was already like doing it all the time and when i don't do it i'd be like guilty about it you know that's how you know your habit's still there when you're guilty about it because you're just like oh my gosh i want to do it but if you stop feeling bad about it and you're just automatically doing the bad habit that means you need a tracker but yeah let me know what you guys think and if you make any cool charts like um habit tracking charts please send them um send me a picture on my instagram okay because i want to see i'm gonna copy there you go no, i'm just kidding could you imagine <laughs> okay i'll see you guys next time bye Bye. i'm actually gonna go chart